Hello student, today we will learn about latitudes and longitudes, two crucial components for understanding Earth's geography and timekeeping. Let's begin with latitudes. The equator is an imaginary line that runs around the middle of the Earth, dividing it into two equal parts. The northern half of the Earth is called the Northern Hemisphere, while the southern half is known as the Southern Hemisphere. Parallels of latitudes are imaginary circles that run parallel to the equator, extending from the equator up to the poles. These parallels are measured in degrees. The equator itself represents zero degrees latitude. The distance from the equator to either of the poles is one-fourth of a circle around the Earth, which measures 90 degrees. Some important parallels of latitudes include the Tropic of Cancer at 23 half degree N in the Northern Hemisphere, the Tropic of Capricorn at 23 half degree S in the Southern Hemisphere, the Arctic Circle at 66 half degree north of the equator, and the Antarctic Circle at 66 half degree south of the equator. Latitudes play a crucial role in determining the heat zones of the Earth. The area between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn is known as the Torrid Zone. Here, the midday sun is directly overhead at least once a year, receiving the maximum heat. Beyond the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn, we have the Temperate Zones. The midday sun never shines directly overhead here, and the angle of the sun's rays decreases as we move towards the poles. These zones experience moderate temperatures. The frigid zones lie between the Arctic Circle and the North Pole in the Northern Hemisphere, and the Antarctic Circle and the South Pole in the Southern Hemisphere. Due to their proximity to the poles, these areas are very cold, as the sun does not rise much above the horizon. Now let's explore longitudes. The prime meridian is assigned a value of 0 degrees longitude. From here, we count 180 degrees eastward as well as 180 degrees westward. This division creates the Eastern Hemisphere and the Western Hemisphere. Longitudes are closely associated with timekeeping. As the Earth rotates from west to east, the time at different longitudes changes. For every 15 degrees of longitude, the time difference is approximately one hour. So, when it is known at the prime meridian, places 15 degrees east of it will be one hour ahead. And places 15 degrees west will be one hour behind. To address these differences, standard time zones are established. In India, for example, the standard meridian is 80 to half degree E. And the local time at this meridian is known as the Indian Standard Time IST. Understanding latitudes and longitudes helps us navigate, study climates, and coordinate time across the globe. Hope you have learned about latitudes and longitudes. See you soon with another topic. Till then, bye-bye.